How's it going everybody? I hope you're having the most wonderful day. Thank each and every one of you for stopping by. New, old, doesn't matter. Thank each and every single one of you. Today's video is an update video on a product um, that I applied to one of my vehicles and I thought I'd give you an update because a lot of people have been asking about it. So here we go. All right, here we go, the long-awaited update. <laughs> it's been about five weeks since I put this on my Tahoe, and I'll show you how it looks here in just a second, but I want to discuss what and why I used. Um, I've been looking for a product to help protect the underhood of my cars. As any of, many of you know, I have a Tahoe and two Camaros, and I like to keep them looking really good inside and out, including under the hood. And with that said, you know, I've heard nothing but great things about the VRT by Adams Polishes. Okay. I've heard nothing but excellent, excellent reviews and comments about that. But that's pretty pricey. I forget exactly what it costs, but it's pretty pricey for what I want to do. And the only reason I have that is because a great, great channel supporter sent it to me. And I'll put um, his name and, and link to his uh, channel in the description below. That way you can check his videos out too. Super great guy. Him and his son do uh, car reviews, car videos, car shows, stuff like that. But I wanted something that was a little bit cheaper because I'm going to be using the snot out of this stuff, you know. About every time I wash my car, or, or at least every other time I'm going to be going in, under there, it's cleaning and spraying and stuff. And I keep my engine base clean to start with, but I want something to protect it. So what I found was another guy was using this product and he was diluting it because it's a... Uh, water-based as is the uh, Adams Polishes VRT but it's water-based and he diluted it and used it on I forgot what he used it on but he was yeah I think he was using it on his engine bay as a matter of fact so I wanted to give it a try so I did I'll put the link to that video up there so that you too can check it out and see how easily it went on and everything but without further ado this is what I used I used Chemical Guys VRP and I diluted it six to one. In other words, I diluted, I put in six capfuls of water to one capful of the Chemical Guys VRP and it worked really good. It went on good, it dried smooth, there was no um, milky looking residue left over if you will or anything along that line. So let me get you over here to the engine bay and show you how it looks. Now as I said, it's been about five weeks. I haven't had a chance to wash any of my cars. I've had issues going on my back and stuff, so I haven't felt like it. Number one and number two, we've had about a week and a half worth of rain from the time that I put this on until now. So it really hasn't been any chance. Just to show you, I'm not kidding. There's my rear car. You can see the layer, on de layer of dust on top of it from the, the road construction. You can see all the dirt and dust and stuff on my Z28. Let me get you closer so you can see. Nasty, huh? <laughs> and then here's the Tahoe. As you can see, I'm not trying to fool you. I'm not trying to trick you. I'm not doing any of that. None of these vehicles have been washed since the time I put this stuff on. That way, number one, I didn't feel like it. And number two, it gives you a great, great idea of how this stuff works and how it lasts. So here we go. And again, I wanted this because it was a cheaper alternative to the Atoms because I tried to buy stuff locally. Although I still ordered this, you know, sometimes you're just going to have to. People do not provide everything in one store. They just can't do it, you know. That'd be ridiculous trying to afford to keep everything stocked in one store. But here we go. It didn't, you know, this VRP did not put on a real, real bright shine or sheen, which is exactly what I wanted. As you can see, there's leaves and stuff all up there showing that I haven't cleaned it. As far as dust, it hasn't picked up any dust. It still has the, the flat matte look that it had when it dried. 
which is exactly what I was looking for. I wasn't looking for something that looked wet and new. I just wanted something that would protect and give it the taken care of look, if that makes any sense. Now, I still have to go back and do it again because, you know, I was just doing it for video and I didn't, I still haven't done the plastic on the rest of the car or, or the cow or anything like that. But just from, just to show you, I have not done anything different. I sprayed this last time. I did not spray under there all to get all that. And as you can see, I still haven't got it. But you can still see the difference between where it did spray and run down and where it didn't spray. So you can see that it is still on there, still protecting. All the hoses look like new, as you can see. Everything that I put it on still has that shine. It still has the, the, the flat sheen that I was looking for. It just makes the engine compartment look new. You know what I'm saying? Rather than all that dust being on it and faded hoses, faded plastics and crap like that. It, it keeps the new look. To your engine bay and this is five weeks later I'm not sure if I'd washed my vehicle you know in that time it might have washed some of it off which I would have reapplied it anyway because my plan is wash my vehicles every week every second week or every third week go into the engine bay spray the stuff on walk away and leave it because it dries flat as you see you cannot tell there's no dry marks anywhere, no white residue or anything from where I put this stuff on. So here we are five weeks later, and it still looks just like it did the day I put it on. So I'm going to have to give this a big thumbs up. Now would, I, would the Adams have done the same thing? Absolutely, I don't doubt it a bit. I've seen so many other people use it and all that good stuff. But like I said, this is, um, I wanted a cheaper alternative. The chemical guys was $11 shipped to my door. $11. That's how cheap the stuff is. And if it's going to work like that, heck yeah. I'll save the atoms for the for the trim and everything on the other cars. You know, the, everything that you're going to see on the outside. And you need for it to last longer. I'm even going to try diluting it to get my red car's grill over there. Because you can see a lot of plastic. All of this down in here is plastic on that car. So rather than spending a whole bunch of time with the sponge or a rag and trying to get in there to get all those little nooks and crannies, I'm just going to dilute it like I did this, take me off the floor area, you know, so it doesn't run, and spray it on there. But save the more expensive stuff for stuff you're really going to see and that really matters. And then for something like this, I'm going to use the cheaper stuff. So with that said, get out there and enjoy your cars. You know, that's what we work hard and pay for them for. Not to let them sit there and waste away. And until next time... We will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you all for stopping by.